Have you ever wondered about the minds of the most notorious criminals in history? The intrigue that surrounds true crime often stems from our curiosity about what drives individuals to commit unthinkable acts. We find ourselves drawn into the labyrinth of their psyche, attempting to unravel the threads of their motivations and obsessions. It's not just about the crimes themselves, but the intricate web of human complexity behind them. This fascination in part stems from our innate desire to understand the human condition. It's about peering into the abyss and attempting to make sense of the darkness. We wonder how someone could stray so far from societal norms, how they could cross lines that most of us wouldn't dare approach. So prepare yourself for an exploration into the dark corners of the human mind. We're about to embark on a journey, a descent into the lives and minds of some of history's most infamous criminals. Fasten your seatbelts as we delve into the chilling world of these infamous criminals. Our first criminal needs no introduction, the infamous Jack the Ripper. In the late summer of 1888, London's East End was gripped by a fear so palpable it was almost a living entity. A shadowy figure known only as Jack the Ripper was on a murder spree. His victims were mainly women of the night, and his modus operandi was chillingly consistent. Severe mutilation that suggested a certain degree of surgical knowledge. The newspapers of the day were filled with lurid descriptions of his crimes, feeding the public's morbid fascination and fear. As the body count rose, so did the theories about the Ripper's identity. Was he a butcher, a doctor, or even a member of the royal family? Despite hundreds of suspects and numerous investigations, both official and unofficial, we're still no closer to knowing who Jack the Ripper really was. Despite the extensive investigations, Jack the Ripper's identity remains one of history's greatest unsolved mysteries. Moving forward to the Roaring Twenties, let's take a look at Al Capone. Known as Scarface, Capone was the face of organized crime during the Prohibition era. His empire was built on illegal liquor, gambling, and prostitution, and he ruled Chicago with an iron fist, making millions in the process. Capone's name also became synonymous with the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Although never proven, it's widely believed that he orchestrated this brutal attack which saw seven members of a rival gang brutally gunned down in broad daylight. Yet despite his notorious reputation, it wasn't murder or racketeering that led to Capone's downfall, but tax evasion. In a twist of irony, the crime lord who seemed untouchable was finally brought down by the IRS in 1931. He was sentenced to 11 years in prison and died in obscurity years later. Capone, a gangster who lived and died by his own rules, remains an iconic figure in American crime history. Next on our list are the infamous outlaws Bonnie and Clyde. During the grip of the Great Depression, this notorious duo carved a criminal path across the United States. They were no Robin Hoods, though their exploits often painted them as such. Bonnie Parker, a waitress, and Clyde Barrow, a small-time crook, first crossed paths in Texas. Their mutual attraction was immediate, sparking a partnership that would escalate into a full-blown crime spree. Their criminal activities were diverse, but they gained notoriety for their daring bank robberies. From 1932 to 1934, Bonnie and Clyde, along with their gang, robbed a series of banks, gas stations, and small stores. Their audacious escapades, coupled with the media's romanticization of their relationship, turned them into folk heroes in the public eye. However, their life on the run was far from glamorous, filled with narrow escapes, shootouts, and constant danger. Bonnie and Clyde, a couple in life and in crime, met a violent end, but their legend lives on. Fast forward to the 1960s, we encounter the chilling Charles Manson. This was a time of peace and love, but Manson twisted these ideals into something far more sinister. He formed what he called his family, a group of impressionable young followers drawn to Manson's charismatic personality and manipulated by his grandiose delusions. Together they committed crimes of shocking brutality, with the most notorious being the Tate-LaBianca murders. Over two nights in August 1969, Manson's family slaughtered seven people in a bloody rampage that sent shockwaves through the nation. Among the victims was actress Sharon Tate, eight months pregnant at the time, these horrific crimes were not acts of random violence. They were orchestrated by Manson as part of his apocalyptic vision, a twisted interpretation of a Beatles song that he believed predicted an impending race war. Manson's reign of terror left an indelible mark on American culture, forever changing the perception of the 1960s. 
Our next criminal is the chillingly charismatic Ted Bundy. A man of disturbing duality, Bundy was known for his good looks and charm, traits he used to lure his victims into a false sense of security. From 1974 to 78, he enacted a reign of terror across several states, leaving a trail of at least 30 young women in his wake. Bundy wasn't just a serial killer, he was a manipulator of the highest order. He used his intelligence and law school education to represent himself in court, creating a media circus that only added to his twisted notoriety. Despite his efforts, his murderous spree couldn't last forever. In 1979, he was sentenced to death, a sentence carried out nearly a decade later. But even in the face of his own demise, Bundy continued his manipulative games offering information on his victims in a bid to delay his execution. Bundy's charm and brutality continue to haunt the annals of American crime history. From Jack the Ripper to Ted Bundy, these notorious criminals have left a dark stain on history. These figures, though vastly different in their methods and motives, share a common thread of infamy. Their names echo through the annals of crime, their deeds, a chilling testament to the depths of human depravity. Jack the Ripper, the shadowy figure who terrorized the streets of London in the late 19th century. His identity remains a mystery, his crimes unsolved, a testament to the limitations of the investigative methods of his time. Al Capone, the infamous gangster who ruled the streets of Chicago during the Roaring Twenties. His criminal empire was built on the illegal trade of alcohol during the Prohibition era, his name synonymous with organized crime. Bonnie and Clyde, the outlaw lovers who embarked on a crime spree across the United States during the Great Depression. Their story intertwines love and lawlessness, a testament to their desperation and defiance in the face of societal norms. Charles Manson, the charismatic cult leader who orchestrated a series of gruesome murders in the late 1960s. His manipulation of his followers demonstrated a terrifying understanding of the human psyche, his crimes a dark reflection of the counterculture era he exploited. Lastly, Ted Bundy, the notorious serial killer who terrorized the United States in the mid-1970s. His charm and intelligence masked a monstrous predator, his crimes a chilling reminder that evil can hide in plain sight. These criminals have left an indelible mark on society, their stories serving as grim reminders of the capacity for evil within the human mind. They have shaped our understanding of crime, influencing laws, investigative methods, and societal attitudes towards justice and punishment. As we leave these dark tales behind, remember that the fascination with these notorious criminals lies not in their crimes, but in our desire to understand the human mind. Until next time, stay safe out there.